risk has increased as stocks have moved up. But equally, uh, don't be overly optimistic. As the market is up this year by 10% on the S&P. The transportation is up 2%. But the euro is up 12% against the U.S. dollar. So anyone who bought U.S. stocks with euros hasn't made any money yet unless he right. bought the high-tech sector and so forth. And if you look at the market, there are lots of stocks that are lower and significantly lower than they were at the highs. So it's not an all clear signal. And I've just published a report. Even if the market were to move higher, and I think we're seeing it already, there is a change of leadership. It's like today, the NASDAQ and the NASDAQ 100 are down. But the Dow is up. In other words, we have something similar like in 99-2000 when the Nasdaq stocks were performing so well and the old economy stocks yeah. have been left behind. I think now the old economy stocks are coming back and the commodity-related stocks. And by the way, since you're talking about this wonderful performance of stocks, May I just remind you that the S&P is up 23% since January 2016. Gold is up 20%, and this year gold is up 9%. But the GDX, the gold ETF, is up 80% since January 2016. So, I mean, you have to put things into uh, the proper <laughs> relation. The thing is that